What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Trading Crypto. Today we're going to go over Solana or Sol, which is up 10% at $26.49. Um, super bullish on Solana. I know all that FUD from FTX and everything like that. I was lucky enough to pick some up at $13 and $8. Um, I think this would be super profitable in the next bull run, even if it doesn't reach the all-time high of $259. Uh, you know, a 10x from where I currently bought it at is only eight, is only um it's only eighty dollars, right? Because I bought it at eight and then I bought it at 13. That's only $130. So 10x from that point, it was easily doable. That was my mindset when I bought this coin. I still think Solana could overtake this all-time high in the next bull run. All-time low is two years ago at 50 cents. So with that, let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on Sol. <laughs> Okay, everyone, we're looking at the one hour time frame here on Seoul, and we are on the cusp of something big. So you can see we do have the step up pattern going on here. You, you can definitely see we have the step up, and then it makes the step, which is moving sideways, step up, the step sideways, step up, step sideways, step up, step sideways. We have the step up here, and we're stepping sideways, and we're trying to create our nut our next step up right now. Unfortunately, we are extremely high on all these indicators. We have not gotten a sell signal on the WTX. The WTX is at 82. Our size flashing red saying, hey, it's a good time to take profit. And the MACD is still bullish. So is, it, is this gonna be a next step up or not? Because usually when the step up pattern ends, then we start seeing um, a step down pattern, a similar situation, which this was kind of a BART pattern right here. Yeah, but we could be seeing something very similar on the way back down if we start capitulating back down it'd be something like this for solana but as of right now this is a very very important area for solana that 26 dollar area if we just take some look a look at um solana from the past before the big capitulation this 26 dollar area where we're at was solana's main support back in october if i draw a horizontal line right here for solana where the current price is you can see previously that was our support. We had our support back there for Solana. And after that point, we had the large run up in the capitulation. So if we overtake this resistance at 26, uh, what is this, 26.75 to $27, I'm expecting another large step up for Solana. How large? Let's actually draw a fib on this. We're actually gonna draw a large Fibonacci on this and kind of get the general step up pattern going here. So bottom to top, you can see this main area is the 382 as well. So we have a double resistance area on Solana. That's kind of why we got stopped out here on the step up effect, and we're currently trying to overtake it. So indicators are showing massively overbought, but we're not flashing any sell signal. So it's really grinding to get over this resistance area right now. And if we do get over this resistance area, the next stop is going to be $30 to $31 for Solana. And you see that was the next resistance area from back in October. So Solana, like I said, is on the cusp of a, another large move. If we are over able to overtake that $26.75 27 dollars price range, if we do that, I'm expecting a very quick movement up to around 30 31 dollars and then coming down to back test that main double resistance flip support area so bullish on solana right now guys let's keep an eye on breaking above this 2680 and continuing higher that's the one hour chart let's look at the four hour chart and dive a little bit deeper into these time frames so that movement past this resistance area is looking more bullish on the four hour chart than the, than the one hour chart you can see our previous test on it let me actually zoom in a little bit closer so you guys can see the candles Previously, when we tested this out, RSI was extremely high, WTX was high. We were actually crossing over bearish on the MACD as well. We are currently at that resistance area right now. We are not overbought on the RSI. WTX isn't in the red, and the MACD just started ripping bullish. So we do have some juice behind us to make that next leg up to around that $30, $31 range for Solana. So this four-hour chart backs up that movement on the one-hour chart for moving up the 30, 31 for Solana. I think it's going to be happening here pretty dang soon, guys. Let's look at the one-hour chart or one-day chart here real quick. One-day chart. We actually had a bearish fake out on the one day chart. We had this bearish crossover in the MACD, then we just flipped bullish on it again. So that movement over that 382, you can see even on the day chart is a very, very important uh, area because back in June 2022, that was a support area for us and back in October. So if we overtake this, it's going to be massive for Solana. It's going to be a massive support area that we finally took back and we'll be able to start working our way higher. You can see how much price action 
or how important that support was to Solana after we overtook it in April 2021. We went down pack, tested it once, twice, three times, held. We went to the moon. We came back down, held once, twice, big capitulation. So if we overtake this area, it is heading us back into extremely bullish territory for Solana. So I'm keeping a close eye on this 382 main resistance area at around 26.75, 27 cents. Indicators are looking pretty juiced up to break through it. Fingers crossed, everyone. If you're a long-term Solana holder, you should be keeping a price or an eye on this price movement here for Solana. We overtake that. That is massive. So with that, none of this is financial advice. And if there's any coins you'd like me to chart or if you just like to chat with me, you can post them on my Discord channel or my Twitter. The links are below in the description.